There's only one reason that I'll be sat in the dark on a Sunday night, and that's to test the low light performance of the brand new DJI Mini 2. Keep watching. Hi, I'm Ashen Droning On, and if you enjoy these kind of tests with the brand new Mini 2, then hit that subscribe button below because there'll be loads more random testing videos just like this. And if there's anything specific that you'd like to see tested with this new little drone, just comment below and I'll see what I can do. The tiny little quarter inch sensor on the Mini 2 is not going to cater very well for very low light, especially on a very dark evening like this where we've not even got a moon visible in the sky. Just so that you guys get an idea of what it is capable of, I'm going to get the drone up, we're going to tweak the camera set settings and see how much it can see at night. Okay, so I've got my Mini 2 all calibrated and ready to fly. I've also got the screen recorder going so you can see what I can see at any time on the app. And I've also got initially the video recording because we're going to start with video mode. Let's see how it goes. So we'll start up the props, give it some throttle and up it goes. We are now in the air, and as you can probably see, <laughs> well, there really isn't a lot to see, but what we'll do, we'll just go up a little bit, and let's just see. So, I mean, at the moment, you'll notice that we've got manual video selected, and that means I'm able to tweak the settings quite a bit. On that basis, we've got the ISO set to 32,000, which is as high as it goes. We've got the shutter speed as set as low as it goes as well. And the moral, the, the rule basically is that the lower the shutter speed, the brighter the exposure, the higher the ISO, the brighter the exposure. However, doing so with both of those settings is going to degrade the quality of that video quite considerably. But if we just pan around, I mean, that doesn't look too bad, but I'm exp expecting that because we've got the ISO set as high as it goes, it's going to be pretty grainy, that footage, but it's not so bad, is it, really? So what we're just going to do is ascend a little bit more because this is one thing to really look out for at night. You really need to know the area in which you're flying because if you don't, there is of course a possibility that you may hit high up obstacles such as flagpoles and even some buildings and you really don't want to be doing that. I can see the drone nice and clearly as well. The lights on this Mavic Mini actually, considering the tiny, tiny little size of it, are really, really good. So let's head down here. Now I'm using obviously OcuSync and so therefore on the Mini 2 the signal is really, really good. Let's just do a nice little pan around here as I'm moving over towards the town. And that looks really good considering that this is just the tiny little quarter inch sensor, the same sensor that was fitted to the original Mavic Pro. It's not doing badly at all, is it? And this is on a tiny, tiny little drone as well. Now I'm flying along the seafront here, so I know that there's nothing here. I'm not overflying any houses at any point, and that's really important at night as well. Stay above the line of the field or whatever you're flying in. You can see at any time underneath me, there's no obstacles or objects. I can still see our little drone. At the moment, we're only 300 meters away, so we're not too far away, but that for video is doing pretty good. Now, I am on manual mode at the moment here, and so therefore I can tweak the settings as I wish. But just to demonstrate the difference, if we rotate around here and just look back, it's a really nice bright area, there we go. If I now just switch to automatic on there, on the video, you'll notice actually not a lot changes there really, because the video is automatically going to the options that are going to give us the best visibility in this kind of lighting conditions. And the fact that there is no light means it's automatically going to stick the shutter speed and the ISO as, as, as to their extremes, basically, in order to give us light. So just to demonstrate that, if I'm back on manual mode, if I just change the shutter speed now actually and push it up, you'll notice that the image gets darker and darker. So at night, you really want to be flying with the lowest shutter speed that you can get away with that doesn't ruin your image. In contrast, the ISO is as high as it can go, but if I reduce that down, you'll notice it just goes to blackness. You really can't see a lot there. So I've got that set accordingly. Now, the other thing to note, I'm shooting in 4K at 24 frames per second. The higher the frame rate, the darker darker the image will be as well. So again, if you're flying at night, you really want to be flying with a low frame rate. But of course, all of these settings have an impact on what your image quality is going to look like, unfortunately. So you need to really keep that in mind when you're flying. 
but I mean that doesn't look too bad does it really considering that you know this is a tiny tiny little drone and that we're flying at night with a tiny little quarter inch sensor that's not too bad I think I'm quite impressed by that let's just tilt the gimbal all the way down and let's see what we can see you can see the path that I'm sat on there the nice lights illuminating it quite impressive that it can actually see <laughs> those lights because they're only very very subtle very very subtle again the brightness of the lights on the Mavic Mini are, are so good that I can see it nice and clearly up in the sky as well um, yeah I'm quite impressed with that right what we'll do now is test the photo capabilities so I'm just going to stop the video there and I'm going to switch to photo mode by pressing the little mode button there and then going on to photo. Now we've got the option here, single AEB or timed shot. AEB basically lets you take a few different shots automatically, which you can then merge or mess around with in post editing, but we're going to stick to single. Now you can see at the moment we're on manual mode still for photo and everything is looking very, very noisy on our app preview. So what we're going to do is just take a shot there like that and I'm not expecting this shot to look very pretty because of the amount of noise that we have. Let's just have a quick look at that shot that we captured. Whoa, look at that. Now that's quite messy. It's done all that it can to compensate here for the low light. So what I'm going to try now is actually putting photo mode into auto like that. We'll take another photo. That's much better, but again, it's quite noisy. The detail is not very good. And bear in mind, at low light like this on auto, it's going to use a slightly longer exposure. So the shutter on the camera stays open for longer to try and get a clearer shot. But a drone is moving. It's not like a camera on a tripod like this one. And because it's moving, the longer that shutter stays open, the slight bit of movement of the drone will blur the photo. But that's not bad, I think, considering that it's this dark, it's pitch black, there's not even a star or any moon in the sky tonight because it's covered by the clouds. So let's just take another photo. Let's angle it down a little bit here. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, here we go. Take the photo. I mean, for a tiny little drone like this, I don't think that is at all bad. I'm quite impressed with that, actually. And what I'll do, by the way, is I'll upload some of these photos for the Droning On members. I'll upload the raw footage as well, the video footage for the Droning On club members to download and do with as you wish. If you want to have access to that, just click the join button now and it will be on the Droning On media library, which our addict members have access to of all the raw footage that we capture during our reviews. Let's take one more photo here. I mean, that's really nice. I think that's quite pretty, actually. Again, for a tiny drone, not bad at all. So we've been flying so far. How long have we been flying for? So we've been flying for eight minutes so far. We're down to apparently 17 minutes battery time, or just over, which doesn't add up to 31. And we're not really pushing the drone tonight, but as expected, battery estimations on drones from DJI are normally a little bit optimistic. But that's not so bad. Now, the other thing to be very conscious of when you're flying a drone at night is you can't actually see where I am down here. In fact, yeah, you can. You can see my light here. In fact, if I just change the mode on my light quickly, you'll be able to see that light blinking. Um, are you ready for this? So now you can see it's turned into a red light and now it's a white light. So you can see me down there, now it's red. So when you are flying at night and you do need to bring the drone back, just make sure you have a point of reference and you know exactly where you are because it's very easy to lose yourself. But what we'll do now is bring the drone down and we'll just hover it by me. It's, it really is a great little drone. Now this is where flying it line of sight really comes in as well because I don't need to look at the screen to bring it in. Can't actually see anything on the screen because it's pitch black. But if you can fly a drone line of sight, then that really helps. The other thing that's really nice is that little light on the front of the drone because genuinely that does help you to understand whether it's facing forward or not. But there you go, you can see me. Now again, considering that this is a tiny little drone, I don't think that's at all bad to be able to see me and film me at night. So I can actually use the footage from the drone now for this presenting shot. Although, of course, you can hear the whir of the drone. Wow, look at my big shadow on the back wall. <laughs> So yeah, overall, really, really impressed with this little drone. Being able to be so capable as it is at night, really, really impressive. Again, thanks to our friends over at Swee Drone. They're drone specialists and definitely check out their channel. There's a link in the video description. Anyway, night test for the Mavic Mini 2 or the DJI Mini 2, successful. 
Hope you enjoyed this footage. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you look better at night. And of course, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.